All right. For part three of this experiment, we're going to try to find the center of gravity of this, uh, this mass here. And we're going to use those three eye hooks. So our wonderful assistant Derek here, go ahead and put the paper on there. And rotate that around so I can see it, please. Thank you, sir. So we've just labeled these points A, B, and C, and we've also prepared some spaces to write the coordinates, which we're going to find out in the end. We're going to set up an or origin. So now we're going to find the weight or the appropriate mass at each A, B, and C. So let's go ahead and try that. So back here is, is a fix the spring scale to the pole for stability, and he's going to carefully hold the two eye hooks for C and A. If he doesn't hold the eye hooks, and his hands aren't going to touch the board in any other place, he's just going to hold those eye hooks. And Derek is going to make sure that the board is level with the table. A little up in the back. Okay. And he's also going to make sure that the spring is vertical. So is it vertical in all directions? Yeah. Looks like towards the front of the room a little bit now. There you go. Okay, now a measurement is going to be made. So I'm just going to zoom in on the, on the scale. Or we won't zoom in on the scale. <laughs> and take the appropriate reading there for grams. And then we'll switch. So now he's moved it to hook A. And the same things will be done again. It will be leveled. And then it will be rotated in one direction or the other so that the spring is vertical. Back towards the oval. When all that is done, and Dak is being very careful not to touch the wood with any of his other fingers. He's simply pulling up on the eye hooks. And then a measurement will be made. And finally we'll do it again for C. Okay, and now we're just going to choose an arbitrary origin. We could do that in a smart way or any old way, it doesn't matter, but we're just going to choose an origin. <laughs> so he's covering, go ahead Derek. Right way. Okay. <laughs> and now he's just going to draw perpendicular axes to have a coordinate system. And then he's simply going to measure out the grid spaces to A, B, and C, calling one direction positive, the other direction negative, and writing down those coordinates. And those would be the pieces that you need for three. Okay.